Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, well, it's pretty obvious what the problem is. So let's get right into it. So no, we do not stud the tires of the cows in Wisconsin. She has stepped on a screw and it is embedded in the sole of her foot. The real question is, is how deep has it gone and has it caused any internal problems? And perhaps there's a better tool for this extraction. Let me get this pliers out where I can get some leverage and pop this free. That's a pretty significant sized screw head and about three quarters of an inch of shank still remaining on that. The question is, has it gone all the way through? One of the interesting things you always see with punctures like this is the blackened area around the site. Whether it be a straight line, you'll see that blackened area, or in this case where it's a round shape puncture, you'll see a round circle that goes around that. It's always encircled in black, and as we work our way through it, you'll be able to see that, how it goes deeper. Here we'll get a good close up of that hole on the inside. There's no fluid coming out yet, but let's keep working down and see if it's gone through. If you watch real closely as I pair this away, you'll be able to see the circle of where that screw went through the horn. That's going to become important later on in this trim. How many of you are thinking forbidden Parmesan right now? Remember when I said those circles in that shaved horn were going to become important later on in the trim? Well, that's now. You can see there's no more circle left, which means that this screw did not puncture all the way to the corium, which is good for this girl. If you want to see what happens when something does puncture all the way through, click on these videos now to see that. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.